Um, today I want to introduce you to a design and tape of eyepiece that you may never have heard. There is a reason for that and the reason is that this eyepiece is designed for using mili military optical systems. It's not widely uh, available to the public and it is unfortunate. Uh, but you may you may see it uh, versions of it in binoculars and some spotting scopes. It's called uh, what you see here is written B six millimeter B. If you know a lot about eyepieces, you know that there is no eyepiece with the letter B uh, or commonly available eyepieces with the letter B in the beginning of it. This is a kind of office called uh, after a designer, which was Ludwig Bertelle. Bertelle designed an eyepiece. He died in 1985. He designed an eyepiece for using military equipment, optical systems, to be devoid of any distortion, especially uh, the measures and the scale all across the field. Uh, he was intending to be flat and equal. It's important in military equipment, optical systems, if you have center of the field, uh, the objects look right size and near the edge or away from the center, they look distorted, bigger. That means you will have a problem because you will judge the distance wrong. You, you will judge the size of the object that you are going to target wrong and eventually you may miss your target. That's the problem. So with this uh, eyepiece, that problem was eliminated. The second thing about this eyepiece is that, although it is very tiny, I'll show you, it is a, I put it in one of these uh, uh, 0.96 to one and a quarter inch adapters. It's quite tiny eyepiece. It almost looks like a Huygenian or Ramsden. But this little gem has a field of view of 70 degrees, 70. And uh, because of the flatness of the field of view and the fact that it has a wide field of view, actual field of view of 70 degrees, it has been claimed, and I will show you the document, that is better than the Nagler, Teleview Naglers, in many respects, especially in the faster telescopes, telescopes which are of an F number um, under 4, under 5, 4, 3.4, 2.8. Uh, if you know, you these kind of telescopes are usually are Newtonians, that you're Dobsonians because uh, there is a limit about uh, of the height that a person can have at the same time having a larger pressure telescope. So that limit puts the a strain on it, uh, a strain on the F number. So the F number will be really low. The eyepieces that you can use will be limited. If you use uh, not well corrected eyepieces, you will have distortion in the field of view and practically it will be ruined. The image will not be as good as it should be. So with this Bertolt, you will not have that problem. I have only a six millimeter version. I was lucky I got this. I bought a second hand uh, uh, Pentax, Asahi Pentax uh, refractor. And with the kit that came with the te this telescope, that telescope, um, this Bertolt was one of the eyepieces in that uh, kit for it. Japanese, of course. And I will show you the design of the lens arrangements. And you, when you look at it, you think, oh, I saw, I, I know part of it. Part of it looks like what, what Nagler and uh, um, Teleview Nagler, Explore Scientific, and many other designs, similar design like the Max Vision, uh, Mead, uh, UV, UWA, or MWA have. But this doesn't have the problem that those ones have. Uh, and because of that, it's extraordinary 
good. It's unfortunate that there is not much design, uh, much eyepieces designed were based on this design. If they do it, that will be really good. And um, yeah, I will show you the text of the, uh, there is a book uh, or booklet called Evolution of the Eyepieces. And uh, I was looking for information about my eyepiece, this Bertel. I know this is Bertel. I knew it is a Bertel, Bertelle. But I couldn't find any information more than what is the uh, scant information here and there. And in that book, I found the information. I recommend everybody use that and find this document, Evolution of the Eyepiece. It's a PDF file. You can print it, have it as a reference work with you. It has all the kind of uh, eyepiece design that you can imagine dimensioned there, and the variations of them, of course, exist nowadays. So, um, it's stormy today outside. I'm showing you the storm Carla from within uh, the glass, double glazed glass of our window. Uh, you may not notice much movement, but it's really windy outside. This is, these trees are very strong. They don't usually bend or move under any wind. And the storm Carla has made them really move. At the moment, it's a bit calmer. But, uh, so that's the reason I don't open the window now. Um. Okay, I will show you this uh, the view of this iPhone in a sunny day. Today I cannot open the window; it's very windy, and the view through this window at the moment is not very good. The objects are moving all the time, so I will do another video later about the view through this iPhone. Uh, after this uh, video, I just immediately put the uh, pages of that book that talks about this design of the iPhone. Okay, I'm putting the documents about the Bertelle uh, eyepieces and the comparison between them and uh, Nagler and all the design uh, features. Please feel free to stop uh, uh, those, their photos, photo stills. Stop them at any stage to read uh, what is written there. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, designers will be making more of this kind of eyepiece in the future.